Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. John Kerry, last week, with the buffoonish comment of the week, air conditioners are as big as a threat as ISIS. Now, you could have found, you found this article literally all over the mainstream news. Secretary of State John Kerry, certainly a part of the club, if you will, 322, Skull and Bones, New World Order. He said in Vienna last Friday that air conditioners and refrigerators are as big of a threat to life as the threat of terrorism posed by groups like the Islamic State. Now, what's ironic about that in reality is they're both really not. The threat of terrorism we know is coming from our own governments, the CIA and Mossad, specifically creating fear, creating paranoia so they can get more of a police state, more boots on the ground. Eventually, yes, there will be more 9-11 type events. So terrorism isn't what it really is, not being presented to the public. Oftentimes, crisis actors are involved. And certainly the whole notion that we should be more concerned about air conditioners. No, we need to be more concerned about getting these fruitcakes like John Kerry out of office. The Washington Examiner reported that Kerry was in Vienna to amend the 1987 Montreal Protocol that would phase out HFCs from basic household and commercial appliances like air conditioners, refrigerators, and inhalers. As we were working together on the challenge of ISIS and terrorism, Kerry said, it's hard for some people to grasp it, but what we, you, are doing here is now of equal importance because it has the ability to literally save the life of the planet itself. Here we go, Captain Planet, John Kerry. I feel like I'm watching Captain Planet all again, like I did as a child. Environmentalism, the whole ecology nonsense. It all ties into this endgame deception. It ties into Agenda 21. Are you awake, ladies and gentlemen? Do you not see what's going on? The new city of man being built. It has nothing to do with the Catholic faith. Which is what our true unity is, is in. If you're listening to buffoons like Kerry, thinking that he has a grasp on reality, well... I don't know what to tell you. Kerry says that most substances banned in the Montreal Protocol have increased the use of HFCs and claim that the coolant was thousands of times more potent than CO2. He added that the increase of HFCs has led to the trend of global climate change. No, it hasn't, Mr. Kerry. Tell them what the reality is. Tell them about Planet X coming in. Tell them about this ongoing pole shift. That is what we're dealing with. You just want to control the population more. You just want to tax us more. It's all about control and manipulation. They're not going to tell you the reality, folks. This is the times we live in. This was said. This is not a joke. This is not an onion story. These are the imbeciles who run our world. And really, imbeciles are not the correct world. They're psychopaths. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He knows who he's working for. He knows who's pulling the strings. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the charade. It's all part of the soap opera. It's all part of the WWE show. Comet can't come soon enough. Planet X can't come soon enough. The Three Days of Darkness can't come soon enough to get rid of these godless freaks. And that's exactly what they are. Let's continue to pray, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to Trad Cat Night. Get all your friends, family, members from your churches to subscribe. Stay tuned for all the latest videos, news, information, and radio shows right here at Trad Cat Night. Bookmark tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Visit us daily. Spend 15 minutes a day at least. We are the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website worldwide. Along that right-hand side of the website, you're going to find a plethora of information, including the Tradcat Night blog archive, which houses about 
4,000 blogs. I dare you to find another blog that's traditional Catholic or otherwise that has the type of information that we have. Participate in the new poll question that's up along the right-hand side. Visit the daily news section, which comes from my Twitter news feed. If you have news tips, articles, blogs of your own, videos of your own, comments, suggestions, send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. I try to move through those expediently on a daily basis. You can follow me on Twitter, search Tradcat Knight. You can follow me on Facebook, search Eric Gajewski. Simply click the follow button and follow along uh, and see what we're, we're doing there on a daily basis. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.